My name is Jack Kyle. I'm the Provincial Grazier Specialist with the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture and Food and the Ministry of Rural Affairs. We are at the Grey Dufferin Community Pasture near Dundalk today and looking at this pasture project that's being conducted by OCA. This is basically a demonstration project where we're setting up rotational grazing in a pasture that had traditionally been just an open grazing pasture with, with no rotation taking place. And we've set it up so it's got numerous paddocks and the cattle are moved every couple of days to a fresh piece of grass. The purpose of that is to show the benefits both from grass production and livestock production of a rotational system versus a traditional non-rotational set stocking system. The main components of the rotational grazing project are fencing and water. We need to have water readily available for the animals whatever paddock they're in and so we need a water line and water troughs so that it's easy access for water. The other one component is fencing and we need fences internally to manage the livestock so they're in the paddock on the grass that we want them eating. With rotational grazing you have much better control of, of your livestock. They're in an individual cell at a, at a set time. Also the, you, there's a, a lot better use of your, your forage resources. They come in, they, they eat your pasture and, and they move on and, and the rest of the, the pasture is allowed to, to recover. Also the quality of your grass is better with a rotational system. It also allows you to have an inventory system. You've got your, your different cells, your different areas, so at, at a set time you can go through, okay I've got 30 days of grass here if we, if, if we get no rain. The long-term benefits of a rotational grazing system, we have improved soil quality, which results in improved plant growth. So we have increased productivity for the, from the pasture. And with better plant growth, we can stock more livestock or, and or achieve higher gains on those livestock. With a good rotational grazing system, we're gonna have good grass cover on the ground at all times. So when we get a rainfall, we have uh, slower infiltration of the water into the soil rather than running off. The grass sort of holds the water and it has a much better chance of getting into the soil than running off. So that's a huge benefit. The other th part is from a, a wild species standpoint, the pastures are being grazed maybe once every 30 or 40 days for a couple of days. So wildlife is not threatened to any great extent in these pastures. If they need ground cover, there's ground cover there at the end of the grazing because we do leave a fair amount of residual grass in the pasture at any given time. And so it becomes a very good habitat for a lot of wildlife species, plant, animals, birds, and insects. You could stock 40% more animals as a ballpark figure, just by rotating. Now with the price of land and, and, and fertilizer and, and everything in agriculture being more money, uh, to me it's a no-brainer to, to go to a rotational system, just to, like almost like getting another half a, half a farm for free. The long-term productivity on pasture land with a rotational grazing system is very good. I talked about in the first three years having an increase in productivity and that productivity will likely consider, continue for a while, not at such a high speed, but it's producing a healthy soil, healthy plants. We're adding organic matter to the soil through the, the larger root systems the plants are able to develop and the manure and urine that's going back on the pastures with a rotational system and being evenly distributed. So we have more vibrant grass, more grass growth, and, and long-term, just healthier soils and healthier crops, which lead to healthy livestock. 